Hello everyone, it is Cindy from Stamped with Aloha. Happy New Year. I am here with my first video of 2023. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a card using a brand new stamp set called Adorable Owls. I'll be featuring some other brand new product on this card as well. So let's go ahead and get started on today's project. So it is the start of our new mini catalog from January to April, 2023, as well as our annual celebration. And the stamp set that I'm gonna be using today is right here on page four of the Celebration Catalog, and it is the set called Adorable Owls. I'm gonna actually use all of the images in the stamp set for today's card, except for one. So we'll get a lot of use out of this. Then from the mini catalog, I'm gonna be putting three brand new products on this project. The first one I'm gonna put on the project is this new gingham paper. This is six by six. It's the Country Gingham DSP, and it's a part of the Country Floral Lane suite. Also in that suite, um, there are th these uh, really pretty uh, pastel adhesive sequins. I'll be using this on the project to embellish it. And then the final new project that comes from the mini catalog is this. I'm going to be using a small piece of this beautiful um, fine shimmer paper. It comes in 12 by 12 sheets and I'm just going to be using a little square that I die cut with our stylish shapes dies. Okay, so those are the new products you're going to see on the card. Let's go ahead and get started on our card. So you need a card base. This is four and a quarter by 11 inches and we're going to score it in two different places. I'm going to score it at four and a quarter and then I'm going to score it again at eight and a half. Okay, that's all the scoring that we need for our card today. For the next step, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna fold it on those score lines. And then I'm gonna use a bone folder to crease it. And on the top, I'm gonna to fold this down and I'm gonna crease it. So this is how we're going to make our tri-fold card. It's gonna open like this. We're actually gonna have it so that it opens like this. But with a card like this, you can lay it out whatever way you desire. All right, now we need some um, designer series paper from that gingham paper I showed you. So you're gonna cut a piece of the six by six into a three and three quarter by three and three quarter square. And then this one is gonna be a two by three and three quarter rectangle. So these are the two pieces of designer series paper you use. And then you're gonna need the base for that. So we have two pieces of basic white that are cut at four by four inches. And we have one piece of basic white that's two and a quarter by four inches, okay? So we're gonna take one of these and put it to the side. We're gonna take these two now and we are gonna layer them with the coordinating designer series paper. So I wanna show the balmy blue side of the paper. So I'm gonna put my adhesive on the back here and I'm going to go ahead and glue this down right here on the top. Okay, and press that down. And then we'll do the same on our little rectangle here. Put adhesive on the red side and then glue this down. Okay, very good. All right, so let's start by laying, laying the cardstock onto our card base here. So for the little rectangle, this is gonna be on the front flap of the card. So we'll put our adhesive on the back and we're gonna layer this right here. I love working with designer series paper and we have some really, really gorgeous ones in the new catalog. And then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna place this one here. And that's gonna go right there like that. Okay, so our designer paper is on there and now we're ready to do our stamping. All right, for the stamping, we're gonna need that uh, white four by four square. And then we're gonna need two squares that I die cut with the Stylish Shapes dies. So Stylish Shapes dies is a die set I use all the time. And in there you have circles, you have squares, you have banners. And these two are the second to the largest square and then the one right below that, okay? So, but you could substitute any similar shape um, for this particular card, depending on what image you want to be your focal point. All right, so for the stamping, like I said, we're gonna use all three owls. So I'm gonna get out my Memento ink. And the first one I'm going to stamp is this one that is sitting down, kind of looking up. And that one is going to get stamped in the bottom corner of the four by four white. All right, and then we are going to ink up the one with the party hat on. I'm gonna ink that one up, and that one's gonna get stamped onto a scrap piece of basic white cardstock. Okay, that's number two. 
And then number three is actually gonna get stamped on this square here. So we are gonna also add some words. So I'm gonna use the words, hoot hoot, you're so cute. Okay, and we're going to place that at the bottom. And then this owl is kind of like flying. And we're going to stamp that cute one right there. And there you go. All three owls have been stamped. Okay, um, next we're gonna color. I know that coloring isn't everybody's favorite, but what I found is I've talked to a few people who don't like coloring, and they've said that these owls are so cute that it's totally worth coloring them a little bit. So I'm gonna make this part go quick, but let me just show you the colors that I'm using. I'm gonna give you one coloring tip. Okay, so these are all Stampin' Blend markers. I'm using uh, Crumb Cake, both the light and the dark. I'm using Flirty uh, Flamingo Lights, one of my go-to colors. This is a light Calypso Coral. And then I'm using both the light Old Olive as well as the light Balmy Blue, okay? And so the tip that I'm gonna give you is I'm gonna color on this one here. And that is, um, I love adding rosy cheeks. So for this one, I'm gonna put the rosy cheeks on the owl first. I'm also gonna add a little bit of color on the ears like that. And then I'm gonna take my light crumb cake and this is gonna go all on the face and I'm gonna color over top of the rosy cheeks in order just to blend it in and just make them a little bit lighter. It's a tip that I really wish somebody would have told me when I was putting my makeup on going to high school when I could have done a much better job blending. Well, it was the 80s, so I guess it was okay, but <laughs> anyway, uh, so blend, blend, blend. That's the that's the tip I wanna give you, is you see how that looks so much nicer blended in rather than having really bright rosy cheeks, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish coloring these three images, and then this image here, I'm not only gonna color it, but I'm also gonna fussy cut it. All right, so our coloring is done. We're ready to move on to the next step. And so for that, I just need to do a little bit more stamping on this square here. I'm gonna place it at a diagonal again, and this is gonna be a birthday card, so I'm gonna stamp it with the words, it's your day. Again, I'm using that uh, stylish shape square, and I'm gonna stamp at a diagonal like that. All right, now we are ready to assemble these pieces, so I'm gonna open up the card, and I'm gonna take the large square here, turn it over, and I'm going to place adhesive on the back. And this is going to be the inside of the card. Now this is a birthday card. This will be the inside. So if you did want to add a happy birthday stamp, you could go ahead and add another sentiment on the inside here. Um, but I just wanted to leave it with space where I could write a message, but that's up to you. Okay, so once that's centered in there, then we're gonna close it like this. And the next layer is going to be this one. So I'm going to take and add my adhesive and then I'm going to center this on this second panel, like so, okay? Very good, all right, then we're gonna close it and now we're gonna hide that. So we're gonna take that shimmer, gold shimmer square, and I'm gonna line it up where I want it to go, and then I'm gonna turn it over and just get out my dimensionals, and I'm gonna place a dimensional at the top and a dimensional on each side here. I'm gonna take off the backing, put those in a neat little pile, and then I'm going to place this overlapping that square below so now it hides that other sentiment, okay? And then we wanna add more weight to the top of the card, so I'm gonna flip this square over and I'm going to add four dimensionals on the back I'm gonna take off the back of the dimensional. Okay, and I'm going to center that right there. Very good. Then we're gonna take our cute little owl and add even more dimensionals. So I'm gonna place three. I want this to be a little bit heavy to help weight down the top of this card. And I'm going to place this one right here here like so. All right, so next we're going to embellish with the pastel adhesive back sequence. And so I'm gonna grab a couple of them and put them up here. Did I grab them? And put them up here at the top. 
And then I'm gonna do a cluster of them down here at the bottom. Okay, and this completes my first project for 2023. I wanna say thank you so much for joining me today. I've been on a little bit of a break because I've been focusing more on the videos that I make for my private classes and events. And so if you're interested to find out more about that, please be sure to get in touch with me. You can also follow me on my Instagram at Stamped with Aloha or go to my blog and follow me there at stampedwithaloha.com. Of course, if you're watching me on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you click for notifications, then every time I post a video, then you'll be notified and you can um, see whatever I'm doing that's new. Well, uh, again, thank you for joining me. Thank you for your encouragement, your love and support. I'm so grateful for each one of you and I look forward to sharing more projects with you in this new year. Until next time, aloha.